I think the brief for the hydrogen boat came about by sensing a responsibility that as one of New Zealand's and one of the world's leading technology companies, we had to draw on the resource and that was available in the America's Cup to do something positive for the environment. The yachts are such high performing boats that they require chase boats to have a huge amount of horsepower which in turn has in the past meant they're built burning a huge amount of fossil fuels. By going to hydrogen, zero emissions, this becomes far less impact on the planet. There were numerous challenges putting together our hydrogen support vessel program. Uh, some of which were involved around meeting commercial maritime regulations, others were just because the boats are so technologically advanced. So across the board it was a challenging program for us to put together, but we thrive on challenge, so it's been a success. The boat that I'm operating, Chase Zero, is a proof of concept. She was built three years ago, it's got about 1800 hours on it now. Keeping the cameraman happy is, is our main goal, ensuring that he's got his camera point where the action is. So Italy will be first. No, it's going to be very close. You're really focused on trying to tell the story as, as best you can. As a commentator, you need all the tools available to do the job at the level that's required for the 37th America's Cup. And the, the hydrogen powerboat has just given us a different dimension that can be used. The boat itself has revolutionised television in the America's Cup. Superb defence by Ineos Britannia in this race. We find it pretty unique as it allows us to get a lot closer to the racing without having an effect on the racing as it leaves no wake behind once we're up and foiling. As an Olympic sailor, it's really cool to see that we're able to push the boundaries in providing amazing content technology that is interesting to think of where it could go in the future. We set a brief that the boats had to meet 50 knots of top speed and the reason for that was to make them a viable support vessel for the yachts which sail around um, or above 50 knots of speed. To go that fast in, 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 in a rough sea state is new. It's a little surreal when the, the first time the thing climbs out of the water you have far less of a sensation of speed. There's no spray, no waves slapping, no wake out the back. You know, in flat water it feels silky smooth. Because the boat is so clean on the water in terms of water disturbance, you can get very close and you can keep up. And I think it's, it's given the viewer it's something that we've never seen before in America's Cup. To achieve this, they needed to be lightweight boats. Um, Chase Zero, which you see around filming the racing every day, weighs um, a little bit under four tonnes for a 10 metre boat. They also had to have quite a large amount of power. So the power for the boat, you have the hydrogen fuel cell in the front end of our boats. Um, air comes on one side, hydrogen comes on the other, and through a complex process, the fuel cell creates electricity. This electricity is passed through um, a battery on each side of the boat and the battery regulates the power that then goes to the electric motor, which is the drive motor of the boat. If we exceed a certain amount of power out of the fuel cell, like if we're going to really high speeds, then the battery will also draw on its stored power to provide a power boost to achieve those high speeds. Then when we go back to around 40 knots of boat speed, the battery will start charging itself off the fuel cell again. You can see all of these teams have managed to pull this together in a short amount of time. They've all got behind it, they believe in the project, and it's doing good things for the planet. It's gonna have great flow on effects to the maritime industry moving forward. It's, um, a huge amount of pride of, of when I see these boats ripping around. It's almost gone through a revolution. The whole dynamic of how you shoot a sailing race with these incredibly performing boats has changed and it will never go back. When we started operating Chase Zero in New Zealand, it really gave the hydrogen industry a good shove along as well. It showed people what is possible in seemingly impossible time frames and I guess it was just a little awakening that the technology is here. If we all get behind it and do our part, it's, it's available and we can make these great projects happen for the goodness of the planet.
It's all good news.